All right, guys. Um, we're going to move on to the um, an object. Let's say, for example, we're going to take a stick. Okay, it's pretty common. People pick up objects and they come in and I mean, especially here, you have baseball bats and many other things. You know, clubs, uh, golf clubs, extremely dangerous. You know, so people come and take it two hands, take it one hand, and start bashing you up. So, which is dangerous. My point for you, I want to cover it quickly. So, when that coming, the last thing you want to do, you put your arm up. Because once that landed, you have no arm to defend yourself with. Because second time is going to do it. You put a second arm, and the second arm is gone. And then it's going to be finish your, and your brain is going to be slide all over the place. Okay? So first thing you do, however scary this is, if I move out, it's still going to get me. Because the, 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 the actual arm has become three times longer because of the actual weapon. Big reach. What do you need to do? You need to move in and stop his arm. That's the my always been the same point. You need to stop his arm. If you're not going to stop his arm, that's going to, like I say, end it up in your arm, and then it's, I mean, it's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt you a lot. All right. So when you're standing there, and the sticks there, move on. No, no, just get try to yeah? stop. Stop his arm. The first thing you do, yeah, you stop it. Then you need to go. I give him a bit of relaxing strike. Let's put it this way. Then one of the simplest thing you do, you go your arm under. Watch. And you towards to his fingers, and you roll it out quite easily from his arm to retrieve the weapon. Watch again. Step aside, slightly inside. Strike it, yeah, together. Get under, roll it out of his arm. Okay. If you need to do it further, see because it comes like almost like a ballistic, yeah. They're using it. Put it on your forearm if you need it, or maybe not, and just go across the neck. Okay. You can use it as a pushing point, as a tool, when it's on your forearm, there, to lock him up. Okay, let's do it again. Stay in there, whoop, strike, get the weapon, yeah? If you need, you follow with that. 